ಶ್ರೀಲತ ಚೀಫ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನಿಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೆಡಿಕವರ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾದಾಪುರ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಡಯಟ್ ಇನ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಟಬಾಲಿಕ್ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೀಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲಿನ್ so if we have insulin deficiency or absolute absence of insulin in the body it is called as diabetes so in diabetes there is nothing wrong to worry so what you should do is to keep your diet under control have a physical activity and stress free life you can win over the diabetes it is really simple and what are the things you have to do regarding your diet is most important so basically there will be sugar fluctuations if balanced diet is not consumed so whenever you consider a balanced diet it should be a timely meal in the right proportions in right quantities so basically your day should start with a cup of tea coffee or milk and ensure that you add no sugars into the beverage and choose a dairy product that means your milk which is devoid of fat especially for obese and overweight people people who are maintaining their body weight normal physically active and or if they are underweight you can go with normal toned milk so a cup of milk tea coffee which is bland can be consumed and you can go for a walk at least 30 to 45 minutes of physical activity is really important for diabetics in the morning and also being physically active through the day is very important and breakfast is something really important for a person's life so breakfast can be anything which could be according to the region it can be idli dosa dalia uttapam pesarattu chapati anything like this and ensure that you take good amounts of an adjunctive with the breakfast items like it can be a vegetable sambar with idli add lot of vegetables to the sambar and good amounts of liquid of sambar and around 2 to 3 uh, uh, idli should be okay for a diabetic it should not be 5 to 6 idlis with a little of peanut chutney or coconut chutney this means the sugars will immediately rise if you take more amounts of carbohydrates we should ensure more on the fiber more on the protein and more on the complex carbohydrate but the quantity should be according to the requirement so if we take more of vegetable sambar with 2 to 3 idlis that makes a complete uh, breakfast apart from that if you are taking a dosa pesarattu or uttapam try to add brown rice instead of white rice and also use the uh, dal urad dal which is whole that means with the seed coat if we choose such dals we get more amounts of fiber again this fiber is going to keep the sugars under control so whenever we take dosa pesarattu uttapam and chapati we have to take more of vegetable chutneys or more of dal chutneys or with chapatis more of vegetable curries or dal curries this gives us adequate amounts of fiber in controlling the sugars and more so we are controlling the dosa or pesar to quantity even that keeps the sugars under control very much and regarding the mid morning snack a diabetic should take a snack which is really healthy it could be a cup of fruit whole fruit and try to avoid fruit juices or pulps or soft beverages it can be a vegetable salad a big bowl of vegetable salad or a glass of buttermilk or without salt or a glass of tinted coconut water or any vegetable soup so these will provide good amounts of vitamins minerals fiber and also hydrates the body but gives hardly few calories the few calories what you consume you tend to burn it in the process of digestion so there is no positive energy balance but at the same time we are getting the adequate nutrients what we require and regarding the lunch every diabetic should take a proper balanced diet lunch should be having good amounts of carbohydrates and that carbohydrate is again a complex carbohydrate complex carbohydrate could be a whole grain cereal or a millet it could be a brown rice it could be a foxtail millet or wheat or jowar bajra we can prepare small rotis one palm size two or three depending upon the height and the requirement of the patient and a big bowl of vegetable curry try to saute with very less oil than pressure cook it 
or cook the vegetable with the pressure and then season it with little amounts of oil remember take good amounts of vegetable curries and also dal preferably this much at least 150 ml cup of dal dal can be with the leaves or with the vegetables or it could be with the uh, any of the things what we would like to add it it can be a uh, methi dal spinach dal or amaranth dal at times it could be a rich gourd dal or a bottle gourd dal or any type of dal at times we can take it as a vegetable sambar even so the intention is to add good amounts of variety of vegetables to the diet for keeping the sugars under the control apart from this a fat free curd is really important which provides us calcium for the body phosphorus magnesium and many other types of minerals and it is a source of high biological value protein for the muscles so a low fat curd around 100 ml is must if the person is obese and tend to eat more quantity of food they have to take a thin buttermilk the same amount of 100 ml of curd can be whipped and made it into 250 ml to 300 ml of buttermilk and given so that it gives some satiety and fillingness in the stomach and tend to eat less carbs when he is taking his lunch apart from this a big bowl of salad is really important for the diabetics for breakfast as well as lunch and dinner so when they start their meals they should have good amounts of salad vegetables the salads again adds to good amounts of fiber vitamins minerals and also adds to satiety so this fiber is going to keep the sugars under control and it relieves us from the constipation even so ideally they can choose cucumber do not peel the cucumber but wash them thoroughly with water under running water or immersed in a salt water and thoroughly washed you can choose carrots and beetroot but remember the quantity should be restricted not more than 100 grams of carrot or beetroot per day because they have sugars and we need to restrict the sugars it is not that you need to completely avoid it because of good amounts of fiber beta carotene and anthocyanins in beetroot we can always take them in small quantities and onion is really good in fiber called as inulin it acts like a prebiotic so inulin is really important for us so we have to take raw onions it also reduces the fat in the body so around one onion one cucumber a small quantity of carrot or beetroot will make a good salad we can squeeze some lemon on top and take that this should be there for all the three meals preferably otherwise at least for the two meals the lunch and dinner can be similar but mid evening snack should be really cautious about taking about sprouts boiled grams or roasted grams or some thin ragi malt or some whipped curd or a fruit bowl or tender coconut water this should be an ideal choice for the snacks this gives us good amounts of essential nutrients to keep our body in a boosting state tea and coffee beverages can be taken twice in a day but remember without sugar so overall the diet in frequent small meals will help the diabetics to keep the sugar under control now what are the foods which really increases the sugar or cholesterol or body weight in a diabetic is really important to understand so basically the bakery products like your bread biscuits puffs pizzas donuts burgers all these are prepared with a refined product something called as maida this should not be there in the list of a diabetic diet these are completely restricted for them so apart from that they do have good amounts of fat like uh, dalda they have cheese they have cottage cheese so which are again having a uh, relation with the cholesterol so we need to avoid this for the same reason they are prepared with soda and salt again which is really uh, very bad for the health so hence these are restricted for the diabetics and fruit juices soft beverages and fruit pulps also tend to increase the uh, blood sugars so these are again strictly no for the diabetics some healthy foods like non vegetarian can be taken in limited amounts like skinless chicken weekly once or twice depending upon the body weight and their physical activity around 75 grams of skinless chicken should be ideal weekly once otherwise red meat monthly once another 75 grams should be okay but fish being a very good source of omega 3 fatty acids can be taken around 300 grams per week 
by all the diabetics. Egg is again a very good source of 26 essential vitamins and minerals. So boiled eggs twice in a week are ideal choice, preferably boiled. If we happen to take more number of eggs, try to take them white of an egg and exclude the yolk. So maintaining a very good balanced diet with small frequent meals and a very good physical activity and stress-free techniques for diabetics will ensure a healthy life. Thank you.